my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jenny if this is the first time that you lay your eyes on this beautiful girl thank you so much for stopping by my little subscribers i love you thank you tenobu the INEX select president he said to celebrate this one year of uh, his achievement as the president of nigeria that is going to be in loki <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> he said he's going to be in Loki. Why won't he be in Loki? The man has just acknowledged that. Hey, ah, uh, me no get a move. Me, no, 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 no. Eh? The man has just said, "Hey, uh -uh. what is he coming to do in Haiki? Is it the people that are being kidnapped? Is it the deleting of people?" Is it the subsidy that was removed and made things hard for Nigeria? Is it the food that is not there, that they are, uh, people cannot go to farm anymore? Is it? What is he coming to celebrate? Or is it? Hey, God, God, God. Is it the bag of rice that is 85,000 when the minimum wage is 30,000? Which one is he coming to come and celebrate? We can't wait to hear what he's going to tell Nigerians that he's coming to celebrate. But he told us, that he, he just came out, he said, his Okunto people came out and said that uh, according to uh, 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 here is again, with the general principle and the policy of the president, President Bola Ahmed Chinubu, the anniversary that the one year anniversary holding is going to be one that is low key and that is why emphasis is going to be placed only on sectoral briefings there will be no ceremonies heralding the one year in office of the president we're going to have sectoral briefings by the virus ministers and this is consistent with the policy of president bola I made tunable to improve efficiency and ensure that government expenditure is also kept. <laughs> it's going to be on a lucky. <coughs> it's going to be on a lucky indeed. Yes, it has to be on a lucky because they got nothing to give Nigerians. Why won't he be on a lucky? What? Tell me the headline of that uh, celebration. Tell me what they're going to be coming to tell Nigerians. Absolutely nothing. They don't got nothing to say. That's why he's going to be on a low key. At least for the first time since he started this nonsense, came back one year ago. Eh? That he can finally see now that Nigerians are not, they are not with water in their mouth when they are telling him that he is a loser. I have failed Nigerians. That's what Ahmed Bolatinobu has done. And that's why he is going to be on a low key. All the days of his life, he will be on a low key. As long as we are concerned, we are not going to celebrate Ahmed Bolatinobu. We are not going to celebrate him. Even if he like now, eh? Yagare che umake yanine. Were goye dasha ndi Nigeria. One by one, we still not going to celebrate him. We will not going to acknowledge him. People have been deleted. People have been kidnapped. What he's going to really celebrate is that in his administration, anyway, he told us that he's coming to start, continue from where um, where Boari stopped. So when people tell you who they are, you believe them. You believe them because they are trying to tell you that their name is Jen. And you are arguing that the name is not Jane, that is Grace. Now your name be that. The man told us, I am coming to dance. The man told us, when they give me, uh, this is how I'm going to be the ruler. I'm going to distribute all my, all my shame everywhere. The man said, I am coming to dance. So when somebody tell you, what, can you say one thing that I made Bola Tinubu promise that he will do for you? He did not promise you anything. So what do you expect from him? I don't expect to see if I see any good thing, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. Because he promised us nothing and he's given us nothing. So my brothers and my sisters, just like he has promised us that, yes, 
I have felt Nigerian, so I don't have to bring my shame out in the public. I'm just going to do it in a low key. Simple. He shouldn't even celebrate uh, his one year in office because he did absolutely nothing. He shouldn't celebrate. What he should be coming out to tell us is to, is to cry for his shame. Cover his face in shame and go straight to you know where. Mm -hmm. But at least he has acknowledged uh, one thing, one thing that, I, uh, uh, that I know that I'm sure of right now is that he has acknowledged that he's a failure. He has acknowledged that he has failed Nigerians. He has acknowledged that things are hard for Nigerians. He has acknowledged that there's no, there's no road for him. That no matter where he turns, that shame will be following him all over. So this will be celebrated in a low key. Instead of anybody celebrating Ahmed Bolatinubu. People should be celebrating Oti. Because when you do something good, people, you don't have to even show. You don't have to. Did you guys see Oti coming out every day to tell you, I did this, I did that, I did road. And it's the people that are seeing what he's doing and taking pictures of it and posting it. It's not him. Because when you are doing something good, it's not you that celebrate you. It's others that will celebrate you. And the people are celebrating Oti. So Tinobu will not have absolutely nothing to celebrate because he has absolutely nothing to give Nigerians. And he didn't give us anything. Instead of me celebrating uh, Tinobu, I will be celebrating Oti for all for taking our our tears away, for drying it and saying, now nah, uh, Abian, Abian people, you guys have done well. You guys have done well. And Oti will be uh, uh, commissioning some stuff that he has done uh, finally in this one year. That's the person that all this uh, praise should go to. Not to Tinubu, but anyway, he has acknowledged that he has failed. And that failure will continue to follow him, follow his children all the days of their life. Amen. From me to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.